after an exhaustive day of work, citizens of India are fast asleep. The clock strikes 12.15 a.m. and not p.m. And the representatives of the people of India are still at work in a marathon sitting that crossed 12 hours, skipping lunch as well as dinner breaks, raising the issues that matter to people, ventilating their grievances. On the floor of Supreme Legislative Body of the country, Parliament of India. The emergence of India as the world's largest democracy and perhaps the most vibrant one post the World War II is indeed exceptional. Part of India's success lies in the historical tradition of people's participation in governance. A defining characteristic of Indian democracy is that the citizens and the state are equal partners. The exercise of power by each entity that drives decision-making and the role played by each contributes to the policy decisions. And in true sense, Parliament of India is representing the will of the people and holding the government to account. It is a matter of immense pride for us that our parliament, as a temple of democracy, has always maintained effective contact and dialogue with the people to realize their hopes and aspirations. As a result, the public's faith in democratic institutions has continuously become stronger. We have ensured the active participation of the public in the functioning of our parliamentary committees. Public engagement is not a choice. It is a fundamental requirement for parliaments to play their key roles at the national level to deal effectively with contemporary global challenges. The basic function of parliament is to make laws. All legislative proposals have to be brought in the form of bills before parliament. The citizens play important roles before and while the bill is drafted. Even before a bill has been drafted, the relevant ministry might choose to advertise and seek inputs from experts and citizens. In some case, the concerned ministry drafts a new legislation and seeks public feedback before sending it for cabinet approval. After a bill has been introduced, it is usually referred to the Concerned Standing Committee of Parliament, which invites various stakeholders and experts for their suggestions. दांडिक मामलों में सिनाक और अनुवेशन के प्रयोजनों के लिए सिद्ध दोष और अन्य व्यक्तियों का माप लेने के प्राधिकृत करने का अभिलेखों का परीक्षण करने के और उसके संबंध और आनुशिक विषयों का उपबंध करने वाले विधेयक पर विचार किया जाए। This provides another opportunity for civil society and the public to get involved in legislation. Citizens groups can freely. Express their opinion and approach the relevant committee to ask or to be allowed to depose before it. Petitioning Parliament is one of the basic rights of every citizen. The Committee on Petitions of Lok Sabha is one of the oldest committees of the House, which was first constituted on 20th February 1924. The rules allow any citizen of the country to petition Parliament on any matter. The committee offers an opportunity to the petitioner to appear before it to explain his or her views on the case. Parliament में हम debate करते हैं अपने viewpoint भी की. In parliamentary committees, we come out with all kind of solution. We interact with the people. We take their opinion. As you know कि जो भी legislatures कानून हम बनाते हैं, उन कानूनों में public opinions have very important role to play. The transformation from governance to good governance is possible if there is possibility of increasing participation of people in governance and free access of information. By realizing this fact, Indian Parliament passed the Right to Information Act to make government accountable, responsible, efficient and transparent. India of course has a historic legislation which was passed many years back which is known as RTI or Right to Information. This legislation ensures that all information that is relevant for the citizens are to be provided as a matter of right, part of a fundamental right to the citizens of this nation. The publication and dissemination of parliamentary information has improved citizen engagement in governance and reduced the distance between the representative and the represented. 
In recent years, there have been increasing efforts to use digital tools to facilitate this process, which has resulted in highly successful parliamentary monitoring. The Lok Sabha Secretariat has launched a new app, Digital Sansad, that makes it easier for people to follow proceedings in Parliament and also their own lawmakers. It is the task of the committed legislature to keep its constituents apprised of its routine proceedings. This objective has required Parliament to keep its communication channels up to date with a rapidly changing technological landscape. With One Nation, One Legislative Platform, the proceedings of all legislatures, both Houses of Parliament and State Assemblies and Legislative Councils will be available on one platform by 2023. Launch of Sunset TV, a news channel combining the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha TV has added another chapter to the parliamentary system of India. Sunset TV covers the light proceedings of both Houses of Parliament. Its programming touches upon the functioning of the Parliament and democratic institutions, governance and implementation of schemes and policies, history and culture of India and issues of interest to the common man. It provides a platform to citizens to question their parliamentarians on important issues and laws. Can we expect the fast disposal of cases? Uh, what was the point of transferring the matters back to the High Court? Does it pose any threat to a small uh, businessman? In a year, what changes we can see in the tourism sector? The Inter-Parliamentary Union, as a word organization of parliaments, connects national parliaments in order to promote greater transparency, accountability and participation at the global level. India believes in Vasudhev Kutumbakam, or the core value of entire world being one family. India is for peaceful purposes. India is for the progress of mankind. The spirit of coexistence is strong enough to overcome any barriers of distance or knowledge. Bharat ki sansad ki or se on behalf of Parliament of India, I extend my warm greetings to all fellow parliamentarians of the country and other member countries of the IPU on the occasion of International Day of Parliamentarism. This year, India is celebrating the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav on the 75th anniversary of its independence. It is a celebration of our successful democratic journey of 75 years after independence. On this historic occasion, let us come together and further strengthen our parliamentary system traditions and democratic values further on the basis of the slogan Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas that is everyone's cooperation for everyone's development with everyone's faith and everyone's efforts. Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Bharat! <laughs>